point out here is that there is no promotion without examination in the school of God. There is nothing called automatic promotion. There will be examination before promotion. If you read uh, Second Kings chapter 2, from verse 1 to 15, Second Kings chapter 2, from verse 1 to 15, you will see that uh, three times Elijah asked Elisha to wait behind, that God has sent him to somewhere else. It was just a test to find out how loyal this young man will be. And he passed each test. By the end of the day, he was promoted. He got what other sons of the prophets could not get. But since the Bible says God is not the examiner, then we have to find out who is the examiner. And as some of us have learned in the School of Disciples, the examiner is the devil. And one of the principal reasons that the devil had not been destroyed is so that he can keep on examining uh, the children of God when the time for their promotion to uh, is around the corner. I mean, for example, in Matthew chapter 4, from verse 1 to 11, Matthew 4, from verse 1 to 11, the Bible may declare that it is the Holy Spirit that directed Jesus Christ into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So there was a specific reason why the Holy Spirit directed Jesus to the wilderness, is so that he can go and write his own examination. And he passed, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, before God will allow the examiner to examine you, he's already sure you will pass. Job chapter 1, from verse 8 to 12. Job 1, 8 to 12. Job 2, from verse 8, uh, from verse 3 to 6. Job 2, 3 to 6. We'll show you clearly that when the devil came to God, uh, God was boasting about Job. Have you noticed my, my servant that is righteous? He hates evil, he loves what is good. It was then Satan said, let me test him, and you will see that he will fail. And God said, you can go ahead and test him. I'm sure he won't fail. And he didn't fail, even though he lost everything. He still said clearly in Job 19, verse 25, Job 19, verse 25, that in spite of whatever is happening to me, I know my Redeemer lives. Now, when he passed his exam, of course, he was rewarded for all he had to go through. Uh, in Job chapter 42, from verse 12 to 17, Job 42, from verse 12 to 17, the Bible tells us that God blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning that he gave him double for his trouble. Everything he lost, he got back double. Not only that, God gave him an extra 140 years to enjoy the blessings. Now, Bible scholars have told us that the period that Job suffered was a total of nine months. The period it takes for a woman to be pregnant and give back. 
He suffered for nine months. He was rewarded for one with 140 years. I had one preacher say, if the devil had any sex at all, he would have left Job alone. So when temptation comes, the grace to be faithful to the Almighty God, may God give to us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Because in Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, in Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, the Bible says, if you are faithful unto death, you will be given a crown of life. Mm -hmm. Now, temptation is not sin. It is when somebody falls as a result of temptation that it becomes sin. Because the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15, Hebrews 4 verse 15, that Jesus Christ, our high priest, was tempted in every area possible, and yet without sin. See, and the Almighty God will see to it that you don't get an examination that is above your class. They won't allow you uh, when you are at a secondary school level to be given a university level kind of examination. That's what is meant by 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13, He will not allow you to be tempted more than you are able to bear. But even with every temptation, He has already prepared a way of escape. However, when we talk about all this kind of uh, examination, we are not talking about you indulging yourself and then following, I mean, falling into trouble. Like in the case of Judges chapter 16, from verse 1 to the end, Judges 16 from verse 1 to the end, the problem of Samson came because Samson cannot keep his eyes where he should be. Today, you will see a woman of the, uh, among the enemies and say, hey, this is the woman I want to marry. Tomorrow, you will see a harlot and go into a harlot. Finally, he saw Delilah. And you know the rest of the story. So if one of your major prayers is that if there's any part of my body that can lead me into sin, God, if I don't want to remove it easily, remove it from me by force. Amen. Amen. Because Jesus Christ said that if your right eye is going to cause you to stumble, pluck it out. If your right hand is going to cause you to miss heaven, cut it out. My prayer this morning is that the Almighty God will hold us to the end. Amen. Amen. And that which can lead us to sin, God himself, if we can't let it go easily, will take it away from us by force. Amen. Amen. Finally, I pray that that crown of life, we will not miss it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um,